And you brought up the CISP, CISSP for something that a, another director that I've I befriended mm-hmm. and it was actually pretty smart. She was saying how like, so right now, some one of the advices I give people sometimes, they don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. I do say, go check out that Coursera course because mm-hmm. it gets you all the domains and yeah. simplifies it for you. Kind of gives you enough information to figure out what domain you may want to specialize in. Yeah. And she was like, you know, another thing people can do is just they can go look at the domains for the CSSP. That and, and other professional certifications. That is so for me. I start people with the foundational knowledge that they need to pass security plus because it's instrumental first step in. If you know nothing about cybersecurity and you start with the learning the domains and passing the, the um, CompTIA security plus, you're fairly equipped to move on to something that is either vendor specified, um, domain specified. I would even argue you're kind of prepared to do project work and start getting some hands on training at that point. Um, even if you don't choose to sit for it, the fact that these certifications such as CISSP and, and the CompTIA suite of applications um, certifications are recognized, right, by major corporations, by DOD. And again, maybe I have that military bias, but I it's do. The, it's the military bias. I, it is. It is. A, it's a bias, but it is also the knowledge of if this is good enough, right, for the people who protect the life and the well-being and our interest abroad then it's good enough for private sector. And that's what I know about the standardization mechanisms that are in place with the I don't, but I really don't think it's the fact, not to say it's not good enough, but I honestly just think it's because it's big business between. Oh yeah. And that. But so, I don't, th- but I don't think that, I don't think risk analysis wise that we sacrifice a, a detrimental degree of quality because that business relationship. No, is no, there. no, 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 it's not. But I just saying like, sometimes that's the red tape on stuff when True. We, we've, we've encountered individuals who have said certifications who don't know much. Oh, that's that. And that's going to happen. Right. That's, this is not, again, these, none of this is prescriptive. Right. None, of, none of this is a one size fits all. None of this is a guaranteed. None of this is a one-stop shop. Um, these are just pathways and, Entry points and opportunities yeah. um, that someone could could use to potentially find their way. Because again, you could get started, you could ace all of those exams and decide that you don't you want nothing to do with cybersecurity. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I'm not heavy on a lot of certs mm-hmm. early on. I'll say, okay, you want to get security plus cool. I spe- specifically say if you want to do government work, like mm-hmm. go ahead and get them government type of. Mm-hmm. Come to your certification because, of course, you're not going to get past stuff without having it because they're going to be requirements. Mm-hmm. But other people, I may say, get something that's like foundational. Um, I also endorse uh, Josh Matacor's Level Careers course because mm-hmm. it gives them some hands on skills. Mm-hmm. And in the private sector, like, what you have, it's a whole different type of like clusterfuck. You have mm-hmm. people. Of hiring managers that actually just want some people that's passionate and they'll bring them in. Mm-hmm. And you got the people who they might have a lean team. They don't really have time to really train anybody. Mm-hmm. So they're looking for somebody that's either did some labs or has some hands on experience mm-hmm. and can answer some of their scenario hypothetical questions. Yes. And so you do, like you said, it's not a one size fit all thing. But I do think that regardless of the path that you take, that level of requirement of being qualified is that level no no i agree yeah i sit with people who have no degrees mm-hmm, and, and i have a liberal arts degree but i have a degree i sit with people who have none i sit with people who have no professional certifications right i sit with people who have tons of them that personally you know myself or my manager don't really care about necessarily so it really becomes about to your point like can you do the work and can you communicate that you can do the work right and ultimately, that's what it comes down to. But I would never advise someone to try to shoot from the hip if they're really trying to be strategic about what they're doing, which is why I do lean a bit towards the professional certifications. And not that you have to, like, I don't recommend people get A+, plus, network I, plus, security yeah, that's plus. A- I do not recommend that. If you're going to do anything, I recommend you start at security plus because it will comprehensively say even if you fall short of cybersecurity, you gonna get a service desk. You gonna get a, um, a IT help. So you know you can you can. I just land actually made a video on that, and it was mm-hmm. about. Of course, it was sponsored by Course Careers, but they did yes. have an IT course. Okay, yeah. And I'm like, hey, if you want a job immediately and you want to actually have someone on your resume, Amen. do this course because yes. A plus is just gonna be a test. It's not gonna show you much, mm-hmm. and the other thing is not. But this one. And there they're using Azure. They're setting stuff up in AD. Mm-hmm. So they're actually doing things. So if you do apply to a service as a mm-hmm. help desk. 
you can get an entry level role. And yeah. then that's how you figure out when you're in a help desk, you see all these tickets getting routed, you can go mm-hmm. talk to them people that's fixing the incidents yeah. and figure out what you want to do. It's exactly. like a, a cheaper route. Absolutely. And so that's why if I say, okay, if your media goes or you just want to get an IT job now, mm-hmm. let's do this. I will skip to A plus because it's still not, to me, it's still not up to par with what they should be focusing on. And mm-hmm. I think it's too expensive. Yeah. Price point. I think price point, a lot of people get priced out of the career because of the examinations. And we talk about CompTIA, a couple uh, several hundred dollars max. Right. But you know, us, we're like sans. Oh yeah. Please help. You know, you're pricing good, educated, experienced folks out. Right. So th- I agree with that totally. But I do think there's a lot of like a lot of available resources and content that do come with the examination. So yeah. like you can finesse it. Like me personally, I don't teach any professional certification without labs. So while I don't necessarily advise most of my students sit for CompTIA A plus unless you really feel like you need to, because again, this is your choice. There are still labs offered with CompTIA A plus. It was a guy and I'm in this black IT group on Facebook. Mm-hmm. He asked a group about, it was a guy or woman that was about to pay $4,000 to do some, no. A plus some boot camp. I was like, no. that's a waste of money. Well, and then a lot of boot camps um, are overpriced. Now we got to look at the, how cheap, uh, knowledge is becoming like I just hate to be a yeah. nerd, but yeah, for certain things I don't think so because it's like like I said that's not really showing you nothing. Now if you're mm-hmm. getting a specialized skill set mm-hmm. and they have it set up in a way professional, they are connecting you with different hiring. Like yes. it goes into the part like when I tell people when you were coming to work with me, it's not just you know you're you're working with me and I'm doing stuff. Now if you're in my network, like I had a guy that wants to go into Thread Intel, I connected somebody with Thread Intel. So if it's other things, okay, you want to do detection engineering? Okay, cool. My friend right here does detection engineering. Oh, you want to do IR? Cool. Oh, you want to do uh, DLP? I got somebody. Like, so is now, outside of what the stuff I'm showing you, now I can connect you directly to a person who can show you what Absolutely. they do on a day-to-day. And those are some of the things, like when, when we're growing up, I was feeling out people are paying these monies for getting these certain rooms. Mm-hmm. That's sometimes the thing that you got to look at long-term is like just being – connect to somebody the degrees of separation of between you and somebody else that could actually help you yeah pretty much probably get that dream job or whatever you want to do in your career 